Hello everybody, I am the Shadow Trooper, also known as Mercury. And today I have brought to you a Far Cry Worm story of a sort. Now, you may be wondering, how would these two franchises interact, or what form is this interaction going to be? And that is quite an interesting question. One that I will answer now. It's a Miss Militia-centric story. Where it's a pseudo-retelling of Far Cry 5. Only you! With a few interesting characters taking the role as the Seed family. But... Before we get into the events of the game, let's build up the backstory. So, let's start with how this all starts. You are Director Tag. Former Director Tag now, as you have been relieved from your position. Your, your stance as anti-parahuman has been deemed too dangerous to be given that much responsibility over a city and parahumans in general. And now you are traveling across the states. You have a plan of sorts. One that requires someone with charisma, loyalty, and a vision. And well, what better way to find that person than create them? So, in your attempt to find this person, you happen across a summer camp, and, well, a couple dozen kids go missing throughout the events of that year. But, hey, not much can be done. PRT can't find anything, police can't find anything. The families are saddened, and some cry, but there is something that else starts to develop. It takes months, but eventually you perfect your subject, the one that will be the leader, in a way, the public face. You're just standing behind making sure they remain safe. Roughly about the same time that you perfect your subject, you get lucky. You find a Miss Cheryl Bailey from Brockton Bay, known as Squealer. She's a tinkerer and specializes in large vehicles. Also, she's hopelessly addicted to drugs. And you happen to have a supply ready to be given for a promise of assistance. Well, now Squealer, or Flower Child as she has been redubbed in your efforts to hide identities, is creating this wonderful device that aerosolizes the drug's main components. A flower that you have specially bred to make it easier to influence people. However, you are not quite done recruiting. You get lucky. A Uber and Leet, also of Brockton Bay, happen to discover your compound. Some time passes, and you eventually convince them, along with their fan base, or you, their henchmen. They're followers of Uber and Leap, they get paid and everything. But they agree to work with you. As long as you're promoting your own sanctuary. At this same time, all of this happens, you're building up your own little private army. Or more of a militia. Ready and willing to fight. And even if necessary die for your vision of sanctuary. 
spoken by the prophet. Now, words of this sanctuary spreads, and some videos get out. The fact that you've been taking over local businesses, buildings, farms, kind of just everything, is making people nervous. The fact that it's with the support of at least three identified parahumans, well, that doesn't help, and it eventually brings in the PRT to investigate, with Miss Militia and Armsmaster, two very respectable figures of Brockton Bay, going to try and find, even potentially arresting individuals who are trying to influence or provoke a more violent uprising or response. Upon reaching this sanctuary, you discover that the main building, sanctuary headquarters, where the leader of this movement is, is a church with speakers all around. Can do make all this world seem right. The sounds of a young girl speaking about how God has given them the insight, given them the knowledge, given them what they need for when the world finally ends. They are ready. They will be ready. And they will survive. They will not be stopped by anyone, parahuman, government, or threat from beyond. They will be the survivors of the end times. As the doors open, you are met by a young Taylor Hebert, one of the many missing kids from the summer camp, who is now the prophet of whoever she is speaking of, whoever is speaking to her. She calls it the Queen Administrator. Others call it God. It has many names, but you've seen this type before. The religious fanatical cult led by a parahuman master. With the demands of Armsmaster for her to turn herself over, young Miss Taylor looks to you and, s and calms the crowd of her supporters, people who she must have mastered. And she tells them to stand down. If she is to be arrested, only God will allow it. So, she lets you put her in cuffs. You are escorted through the compound. You get into the trucks. Only to then, as you are nearly ready to leave. Disaster strikes. The bridge you are on breaks. The supporters swarm you. You are captured and taken back to the compound, where Taylor is speaking to her followers. They tried to remove her, and God has said that she shall stay. But now, after this, I let you decide what happens. How the story goes. You are to focus on Miss Militia as the main character. Arms Master has been moved to somewhere you don't know, so you're trying to find him. Local support, even those from Brockton Bay who snuck in. Mostly the Undersiders. You may encounter a few other miscreants, and who knows, 
Maybe inevitably you have to deal with some people you really don't like, just so that you can survive. But now, I think it's time that we bring up how this story could end. Well, there's two ways I have in mind, and I'll let you decide. You could always go with the third option you create. But how I would end the story is the undoing of Taylor's brainwashing, or a much more closer to the source of you succumbing to the brainwashing through subtle, slow exposure to the techniques of tag that turn Taylor into what she is. Of course, she fully believes she is the one leading. Her followers believe it. The only one that knows who's truly leading is Tag, and he doesn't need to survive. But with a little song, it every time you hear it, you feel the need to kill. And eventually you may return. After leaving Brockton Bay, you return to the compound and return to Taylor to be her justice. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this little pitch meeting. I thank you all for listening. Make sure to subscribe, like, and follow for more. Enjoy!